so much paper. Because of this uh, stud that sticks out. It's looking good. It's looking good. We just gotta get rid of this section of... <laughs> Ton of work. We got our guy Alonzo on the job. We've already started making the custom brackets that are gonna hold the bed uh, at the end of the bed here, as you can see. Uh, and he's gonna start uh, measuring and finding out where he's gonna cut this frame at. But yeah, it's happening today. You like the the bed gap? Oh, the gap. I like it. It seems kinda a little. Tight. It seems a little tighter than normal. Yeah, kind of tight. It it should be just a little bit bigger. So maybe we maybe we open it up just a little. Just bit. a hair. I would say so. I think it's gonna be badass. I think it's gonna be really badass. I think if we would have went with the even the, the next longer bed. It would have still looked a bit long. Yeah, it, it'd be it'd be a medium bed. Yeah. Long. Well, leave your comments below what you think so far. I mean, it looks good. I think once we get it on the ground, get it level, I think it's gonna look right, especially with the bumper sticking on it. You know how we were talking about cutting the the, the bumper to bring it in some? Yeah. I don't think we should. Yeah, I don't think so either. No. Yeah, a roll pan is not gonna look right on it. No. You you need that little extra flare. Yeah, What are you, uh, what are you organizing for? About to blow this thing apart. Disassemble it. Disassemble, huh? Done with the short bed. Now on to paint. Complete color swap. So we're gonna paint underneath, firewall, jams. You're not gonna know this was a white truck. Okay. So what are all the bags for? all the bolts each panel organize it so that when we take it apart when we start putting it back together it goes back together a lot easier makes sense you're not looking for bolts there's no straggler bolt no wee bolts you know what a wee bolt is <laughs> no what's a wee bolt wee. <laughs> no wee bolt 
brand new truck. All right, so you heard it here. Got the short bed conversion done. It is short bedded. It looks great. I love it. Needs to be lowered in the rear just a little bit. Like we've said previously, it needs about a little, little half inch. It's got a little rake to it. But it is complete as far as that structural stuff goes. Have you even picked up, a, have you picked out a color yet? <laughs> Are you like 50 50 on it or what? Uh, probably 75 25. So, okay. so a we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it a surprise. A good designer I've come to know through a good friend of mine, PainthouseTX.com. Awesome cars. Well, he recommended Eric Brockmeyer. And if any of you know custom and designing, if you're familiar with Boyd Coddington, well, this guy did a lot for Boyd. Well, we kept going back and forth from wheels and color, and then mm -hmm. do we do some rose gold? Do we do polish? Do we do bronze? And my head exploded. So I reached <laughs> out to Eric, and I was like, hey, Eric, I need some help. This is what I got. This is what we're doing. Do your magic. So mm -hmm. he's in the process of doing his magic, and okay. if he tells me to paint it pink, I'll probably paint it pink. Okay, there you and go. He's, so, but so we, we still haven't really decided on the color. No, I, I gave him some ideas. You're leaning towards something. But yeah, I'm leaning towards he's something. Gonna, he's going to do a design for you, and we're going yeah, we'll to pop that out. Okay, cool. So yeah, we got to take this truck completely apart uh, in order to get that paint process going, because there needs to be a lot of prep work. Um, and then we can continue on the journey. Uh, I'm, we're hoping to have this truck back together in time for a local show here in Houston. It's a Houston, I believe it's a Houston performance truck show uh, in Baytown. Us they usually have it in Baytown, so we're hoping to have it ready enough, maybe not with the wheels complete package done. Something for people to look at, and we're hoping to have it at that show, but uh, it just depends how the next couple of weeks go, because that show is coming up, I believe, in July. So we're going to keep pushing at it. Right now we're going to start the disassembly process, take everything apart. Everything has to come off of it uh, in order to do that. And uh, we'll go from there. 